No, so I, I don't buy the premise, first of all. Uh, um, the, uh, look, we had a, a stimulus bill, which was about $800 billion. Um, that's a very small part of this debt we have. And none of the rest was the result of deliberate efforts at economic stimulus. So where is this coming from? I mean, the, the rest of it is we, we have a large amount of, of debt that was, uh, a lot of, large amount of, yeah, we, we ran deficits even during good years, which, which even people like myself don't think is a good idea. Uh, why? Because, uh, because George Bush wanted to give tax cuts to high-income individuals, and he wanted to, to have a couple of unfunded wars. That has nothing to do with pump priming. Um, and then we had a collapse of revenue um, that, that took place after uh, 2007, which is the result of a severe downturn in financial crisis, which uh, reflects at least in part, um, at least in part um, um, financial deregulation, a failure to understand that you need to, to actually have some, some, some oversight on a financial system and, and, and all of that. So the, the notion... This is that people talk as if we, we got our, the, our current level of debt through Keynesian policies. We didn't. It had very little to do with it. We got into our current level of debt through a, a combination of a del, more or less deliberate um, uh, policy of, of starving the beast when, when the economy was, was, didn't need a, a budget deficit, coupled with mishandling of, of financial policy that, that helped create this economic crisis. Um, all of that said, the notion that there's a, that bad things happen, that there's some red line on debt that we're somewhere close to, is just not borne out by by the evidence. Yeah. It's I mean, a it, really it's, poor piece of uh, that. This this it, it, look at look at who is in trouble right now in terms of debt, and it turns out to be only only countries that that are uh, no longer have their own currencies, yeah. and are in a special problem. I mean, the, the advanced countries that still have their own currencies that have monetary independence have repeatedly both in current events and historically, been able to handle debt levels like we have right and, now and without this, any trouble. This is a fallacy that's been partly propagated by the, uh, a, a well-known book, but Rogoff and Reinhardt. It's not in Reinhard. your book. You that's a very right. important. This, the, Reinhardt and Rogoff, sorry, uh, Carmen Reinhardt and Ken Rogoff have a wonderful book about history of crises, although there are some mistakes. But then after the book, they threw out this very casual paper, Growth which was just, which was just some raw correlations saying that basically countries with high debt seem to have, high, seem to have low growth. With, and if you start to look at it, it looks like it's actually the other way around. Countries that have low growth end up with high debt. It's really, it's really just the, not up to the standard of their other world. The United States had a debt to GDP ratio at the end of World War II of about 130%. And it was followed by the highest period of economic growth that we had. And we brought the debt down uh, relatively quickly. So uh, this notion that, that, that there is a, a, any magic number at which there's a problem uh, is just uh, false. The counterfactual, the way we, you should have asked the question, uh, could have asked the question, is what would have happened? Teacher. And, Teacher, and, yes. And, <laughs> then one of, and, if this goes on for any length of time, one of us is going to say, that's a really good question. Right? <laughs> what would have happened if we hadn't uh, allowed the deficit uh, to increase, that we have tried to do the Herbert Hoover uh, kind of policy of uh, slash, slash, and, and, and cut back expenditures as the tax revenue went down. We, we did that experiment, uh, and uh, IMF has forced that experiment on a number of other countries, uh, and the ECB and Europe have been forcing that on Greece, and uh, we've found two things about that. One, uh, the countries go into depression, and the other one is uh, the deficit and, uh, doesn't get down as much as anybody hopes. Uh, they keep saying, oh, we're surprised. I'm surprised that they're surprised uh, <laughs> because it was perfectly anticipated that they would uh, fail.